हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एएसआई नेटवर्क इंडिया मेकिंग डिजिटल वर्ल्ड सो हियर वी गो द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ द पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स वी विल डिस्कस हियर इन दिस फर्स्ट चैप्टर सो लेट्स बिगन सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव वी विल डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स वी विल कवर इन दिस सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट्स वुड बी आइडेंटिफाइंग द फंक्शन ऑफ द कंप्यूटर्स एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स list the component of the personal computer explain the front and back side of the personal computer and discuss the power on self test function of the computers accepting the data which is coming from the user so whenever you are trying to do any entry by pressing a key from the keyboard it forward it to the central processing unit central processing processing unit has a job to process the things which is coming from the user side and then transfer to transfer to the output device which displayed on the screen okay so process the input using the some instructions as I, as we discussed while pressing the key the output will be displayed uh, process the data to the output device so coming to the next one there are several type of computers which is known as micro computers mini computers mainframe and super computers we will discuss in upcoming slides so each one has a slight different to each other right so micro computers digital computer that works on the microprocessor so generally used at home and offices for a small purpose perform tasks such as word processing desktop publishing and accounting the small work can be done on these computers so the generation of the two micro computers too is advantage small size low cost portability and this one disadvantage is uh, the processing of the data speed mini computers known as a mid range of the server sometimes what we does is let's suppose you wanted to perform some work a standalone system can function once you install the platform like a server server operating system you have been installed in that so this will start functioning as a server but it is for your personal uh, purpose this cannot handle the uh, multiple uh, request which is coming from the users it is but obvious because of these systems not meet for uh, server basis okay so but yes this can work for the server like as well so medium size multi processing and multi users computers use for small size companies okay so mini computers in the second range of that advantage cater to multiple users if any multiple users are coming let's suppose it's a cloud environment and there are multiple users are coming around and your server is here okay your server is here and it is connected to the global all right so a user send a request to b uh, the server and b send a request to the server c send a request to the server there are many session like 10k uh, each initiating a this initiating a 9k uh, session this in each initiating a 800k session so whenever the traffic is coming from each a b and c and forwarding to the server so this doesn't have the capability okay I mean to say it has the capability but over the certain range it the capacity to be checked okay capacity to be checked on this system what are the rams processor cpu and uh, the cores what are the things so and so forth that to be checked we will discuss in details in the upcoming slides all right so large and bulky these are the, this is the disadvantage of this computer mainframe it's a little wider range of the usable in the enterprise environment only a centralized room for the floors centralized computing distributed users small servers so and computer net computing networks mainframe to support uh, users and uh, instructions large memory hard size and expensive so supercomputers is the father of each one 
okay so generally these things manage in the data centers okay high speed and reports advanced physics okay consists several computers means this type of uh, systems will be utilized in high uh, performance environment and critical environment because of uh, it is it is uh, costly and expensive and dc data center generally it is being utilized so components of the computers input device output devices storage processing and communication devices and infrastructures uh, input devices are keyboard pointing device scanner and digital camera everybody we are aware about that output devices like a display system display card sound card printer and fax these are my output devices storage devices floppy cd and dvd cd right so and magnetic devices solid state drive flash memory these are the temporary memories so flash memory okay so and memory cards so these are uh, the permanent usually the data it's a it you can touch and feel that okay you can touch it directly so digital audio tape drives processing devices okay so microprocessor chipset and bios so guys you need to keep in mind that these are the main part which is processing the entire things in the computers okay these three things will be set to on the motherboard set to the motherboard okay based on each things connected to the motherboard and process and has a delivery job for uh, which is coming the data from the user side which you are using the input device so interfaces these are port and cables serial cables pedal cable and usb lan card modem these are the cables which is being utilized we will discuss don't worry about that we will discuss in, in upcoming slides in details so infrastructure uh, the peripherals are attached system case power supply motherboard and expansion port okay and uh, <coughs> introducing the front and back slides uh, front and back side of the pc show it particularly okay cd dvd these are the things which will which will be uh, uh, displayed at the front led display which indicate the performance of the system either the red green red green amber okay but these days the green only is coming and the red which indicate the system is not running well starting a pc for the first time show it uh, self check okay basic input output system bios check all the peripheral devices memory and hardware of the comp personal computers power on self test is performed before the pc boots up the operating systems okay so bios check out the functionality based on you are able to see the display of the computers thereafter it push to the power on self test that's everything function is working fine yes we can take up the operating system and move to the next step function of the post checking the power supply motherboard comparing system configuration configuration program checking memory devices drivers checking systems memory and all startup display and audio everything so everything will be checked so whatever the relevant driver do you need post uh, load the explorer then you will be see in the device manager what are the drivers and things being installed into the systems and which is really required to be installed in that summary of this chapter is the personal computer is an electronic device machine that accept the data process it uh, on the basis of the some instruction and produce output personal computers perform wide range of the functional like data processing programming playing audio video and games different type of computers are that we have been discussed in this this is a summary quick summary of that so led display on the system case indicator operating system going to inside different ports we have been discussed motherboard and uh, io ports and serial ports and parallel generally known as a management ports okay so sometimes we can use it 
storage device data into the PC and uh, digital audio tab, UTP, STP, coaxial cable, power on cell flash and that's the end of the slide one. So thanks for watching, please keep it up, stay tuned with us. So we will discuss in the next series the microprocessor. Thanks for watching.